गुरुणा भर्षित सत्तो जय हो सत्य न सुव्रत छुक्त मया धर्म नाम तेजस्वी सत्यवा ट्रांसलेसन बैशल प्रभुपात ऑल दो ग्रेप्ट ऑफ इज रीचेस फल ऑन फ्रॉम इज ऑरिजिनल पोजिशन डिफीटेड एंड अरेस्टेड बाई इज एनिमीज रिब्यूक्ट एंड डिजार्टेड बाई इज रिलेटिव एंड फ्रेंड्स ऑल दो सफरिंग द पेन ऑफ बींग बाउंड एंड ऑल दो रिब्यूक्ड एंड कास्ट बाई स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर बड़ी महाराज बींग फिक्सड इन इज भो डिंट गिव ऑफ हिज ट्रूथफुलनेस इट वॉज सडनली विथ प्रिटेंशन दैट आई स्पोक अबाउट रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स बट इट डिंट गिव ऑफ रिलीजियस प्रिंसिपल्स फॉर हिज ट्रू टू हिज वार्ड परपट बाई शिल प्रभुपात बड़ी महाराज पास द सीवियर टेस्ट वुड बी फोर हिम बाई सुप्रीम पर्सनल टू वॉड हेट दिस इज फर्दर प्रूफ ऑफ द लॉर्ड्स मर्सी टुअर्ड्स इज डिवोटी दिस सुप्रीम पर्सनल टू वॉड हेट समटाइम्स पुरुष ए डिवोटी टू सीवियर टेस्ट दैट आर ऑलमोस्ट अन बीर वो वन कुड हार्डली इवन लीव अंडर द कंडीशन फोर्स्ट ऑफ वन बड़ी महाराज दैट बड़ी महाराज इन ड्यूर ऑल दिस सीवियर टेस्ट एंड अस्ट्रीटीज इज द मर्सी ऑफ द सुप्रीम लॉर्ड द लॉर्ड सटनली अप्रिशिएट्स द डिवोटीज फॉर वियरेंस एंड इट इज रिकॉर्डेड फॉर द फ्यूचर ग्लोरिफिकेशन ऑफ द डिवोटी दिस वॉज नॉट एन ऑर्डिनारी टेस्ट एज डिस्क्राइब इन दिस वॉर्स हार्डली एनी वन कुड सर्वाइव सच ए टेस्ट बट फॉर द फ्यूचर ग्लोरिफिकेशन बड़ी महाराज वन ऑफ द महाजनस The supreme personal to God had not only tested him, but also gave him the strength to tolerate such adversity. The Lord is so kind to His devotee that when severely testing him, Lord gives him the necessary strength to be tolerant and continue to remain a glorious devotee. Here, same. severe test all the bereft of his riches fallen from his original position defeated and arrested by his enemies rebuked and deserted by his relatives and friends all the suffering the pain of being bound and all the rebuked and cursed by his spiritual master bali maharaj being fixed in his bow didn't give up his truthfulness it was suddenly with the pretension that i spoke about religious principles but he didn't give up religious principles or his true to his word supreme lord himself says this is test hmm bali maharaj had a very elevated position in material field hmm he had conquered three worlds he was in position of the opulence Ah, riches, wealth, a valuable in three words, but he became bereft of all riches. He fell down from his original position, defeated, arrested by his enemies, rebuked and deserted by his relatives and friends. So much suffering, so much pain. He was bound up with the world of past. So much suffering, so much pain he got. He was rebuked, cursed by his spiritual masters. Still, he didn't give up his truthfulness. Didn't ah, uh, what to say? Broke his promise. That means he promised that I must give three pieces of land to the supreme lord. You understand? That he promised, and Bhavan Dev was dwarf in size, small stature, tiny face, very tiny feet, ah, uh, so tiny feet. And they give me three pieces of land in my feet. You understand? But he, hmm, his supreme personality, God is very great. Expanded himself, became so great. The tiny feet with two feet, he occupied ah uh, all land, space, everything in three worlds. What took away all the possessions? Ah, uh, Bali had possessed in three worlds. 
with two feet. Look at finish. The body becomes bereft of everything. That means Supreme Lord tried uh, to prove that body was not truthful. Body couldn't cannot keep up his promise. Then I tried, but body was fixed. Uh, then when say, all right now, I took out everything with two feet. So there, is there any land now, any place now you can give for my third foot? Paul well, said, I have nothing now. Nothing now to give for the third foot. I have no place and you have no foot also. Ah, but Lord said, if you can give me pay place, I can show my third foot. But body had got on mercy, hmm, is Kripa Siddha. Do you understand? Mercy from his grandfather, Lahav Maharaj, who is Mahabhagavata, great devotee. Uh, so, pure intelligence came. He thought of, oh, I had given everything. Supreme Lord took out everything from me. All my possessions, all my opulence, all my uh, this riches. But I have not given myself. So, he showed his head put a third foot here. That means completely dedication, complete dedication, completely Atman and surrender. Huh? That is the test. Mm, that is test. When one mm, does this thing, complete dedication and complete surrender, when you become bereft of everything, there is nothing, there is nobody, bereft of his, his friends, relatives, Nobody is there. No riches, no strength, no friends, relatives, grip of anything. So who is there? Only Supreme Lord is there. So you will take shelter. That is the test. That test. Body passed that test. And his spiritual master also cursed. Yes. You cannot keep up your promise. You will prove it untruthful. You will go to hell and suffer there. Sukracharya already said that. Thing. Yes. Still he tolerated all these things. All right. Let me have this thing. Let me go to hell and suffer there. But I cannot eh, give up my promise. I cannot be untruthful at any cost. I must keep up my promise. So completely surrender and so his head. This, um, he didn't give up his truthfulness. It was suddenly, and that means here, yeah, the Supreme Lord admits this thing. It was suddenly the pretension that I spoke about religious principles, but he didn't give up the religious principles. For he is true to his words. He passed the test. Yeah. Supreme Lord pretended. You understand? It's all on a pretension. Ah. Supreme Lord pretended. But Bali Maharaj didn't give up his religious principle. He stood to his words. He told it all these things. All the books, all sufferings, all pain, everything, all insults, everything he tolerated. He got such strength to tolerate. This is the question. One should have so strength to tolerate this thing. Therefore, Mahaprabhu's teaching is that Taro Riva Saisuna. Amani na manadhyan. Trunad Vishnu Chino Taro Riva Saisuna. Amani na manadhyan. Kirtaniya Sadahari. Do you understand? Hmm. If you want to do Hari Bhajan without duplicity, Niskapata Bhajan. We say Niskapata Bhajan. Bhajan should be done without duplicity. No duplicity should be there. Your simple heart, pure heart. Mm. And that will be tested. That will be tested. Krishna knows the heart is there in your heart. Yes, what is what? What bhav is there? What intention is there in your heart? Krishna knows. So, he'll put you in test, very severe test. Yes, he'll put you in very severe test. Asajavan. 
Yes, are you a pretentious person? Just pretending? Huh? So many dupliciousness, duplicity in the heart or simple heart. Do you understand what uh, intention you have, what desires you have? Really you want Krishna? Or you have some other desires, desire for material enjoyment, desire for liberation? That will be tested. Anyamirasta sunyam, jnana karma adhyana brutam, ankulena krishnana shuranam bhakti uttama. This is uttama bhakti, pure bhakti. No other intention, desire is there. No desire for material enjoyment, no desire for liberation, only to serve the lotus feet of the Lord and give him pleasure. I never ask for anything for my own pleasure, my own enjoyment, own name, fame, prestige, own adoration, own honor. I don't want it. You understand? That will be tested. And that test was there for body. You understand? And body passed this test. One who passes this test, he gets the mercy of the Lord. Lord must put you in test, he says. And Lord gives strength to tolerate it. Mm. Yes, as described in this verse, hardly anyone could survive such a test. But for the future glorification of Bali Maharaj, one of the Mahajanas, the Supreme Personal God, had not only tested him, but also gave him the strength to tolerate such adversity. Yes. This power of tolerance. Therefore, Taro Riva Saisuna, Mahapuru says, be as tolerant as tree. Yes. Azad Jovan, be as tolerant as tree. So how can you do Hari Bhajan? No tolerance. That will be tested. So, Bali tested. He said, this was not an ordinary test. Not ordinary, very severe test. Very severe test. You understand? Nobody could have survived, but he survived. Tolerated. Hardas Thakur, take the example of Hardas Thakur. Ah. Such ah, persecution. The person is dragged him in 22 bazaars. You understand? Eh? Put such severe losses on him. Anybody could have died. Couldn't have survived. Place came out, bone came out, the onlookers, those are looking. They couldn't tolerate. Oh, such severe persecution. They said tears, they said loss, loss. Yes. But Das Thakur tolerated it. He was chanting very gladly, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Khanda Khanda Hai Jadi, Pindu Jaya Pran, Tathapi, Mukhu Nathari Bahari Nama. He says this thing. Let my life go away, do you understand? Let my body be torn into pieces, crushed into pieces, whatever may be. I will never give up this holy name. This is what. And he didn't give up. Yes. He didn't give up. That's chanting. And he tolerated. He got the power of tolerance. And Krishna gives. Krishna is so kind to his devotee that when severely testing him, the Lord gives him the necessary strength to be tolerant and continue to remain glorious devotee. Yes. Those who do this Hari Bhajan without duplicity, this Bhajan will give you this strength of tolerance. Those who don't do Bhajan, they cannot tolerate. They cannot tolerate. They are very intolerant. You understand? Very intolerant. One word they cannot tolerate, but to speak of anything else. Insult will come, rebuke will come, you understand? Enemies will beat you, enemies will call all bad names to you. You understand? But how you can tolerate it? To serve eh? the lotus feet of Krishna. Yes, this material world is such world. Dukhalayam. Every step there is danger, miserable place, miserable platform. Eh? So much misery, suffering is there. 
in spite of all sufferings, all miseries, insults, honor, dishonor, do you understand? Tulya ninnatma sanstati tulya mitrari pakkhaya. Bhagavad Gita says, one who is equal, huh? in all conditions, favorable and unfavorable conditions, praise, honor and dishonor, do you understand? Is equal, not disturbed. He passes the test. Stulya. Huh? He is equal with his friend and enemy. Yes. It is said, if your enemy is a very, uh, your great enemy, uh, if your enemy comes to your house, what will you do? Oh, enemy has come to me, my house now. I have got an opportunity, I suppose, kill him. You may, you may be thinking like that. But with a real gentleman, a devotee, Vaishnava, he never thinks like that. He pays all respect to his enemy. Do you understand? Pays all respect to his enemy. Do you understand? Gives all good treatment. The enemy's heart will be changed. Yes, I have developed such enmity. We are saying that story. Hmm? Ah? Of Sanatana Goswami. Hmm? The Sanatana Goswami that they were telling hmm? uh, gave bribe to the jail warden, eh? jail keeper, how to get out of this jail, prisoners. Eh? Rupa Goswami had kept hmm, so many gold coins for him. He wrote a letter hmm, to Sanatana Goswami. And that letter was written in an indirect way. It has a, got allegorical meaning. Nobody, nobody can understand what, what the letter says. Do you understand? What the letter says. Hmm. The allegorical meaning, indirectly written, but Sanatana Goswami could understand this thing. Hmm. So he acted accordingly. Mm. Somehow or other, somehow Sanatana Goswami was put into prison house. Yes, prison house, isn't it? Usain Saab put him in prison house. Huh? He gave up. He gave up his ministership, such elevated position he had. Huh? So much opulence he had. He gave up everything. For this book, service to the Supreme Personality God, you understand? This tested. Really you are attached to this material position, name, fame, prestige, adoration, ah, opulence, riches, enjoyment, or no attachment, but only one attachment developed towards the Lord of Spirit Krishna. Nandhano, nandhano, nasundarim kabitamba jagadisa kamaye, Mama Janmani Janmani Sri Bhavatar Bhakti Rahit Gitai. That Mahapus teaching. No desire. No, I have no desire for material wealth, no desire for material followers. So many followers will come and thus praise me and flatter me. Yeah. I don't want that thing. Let all blame me. Ha. Call all in name. You understand? Isn't it? Who wants this thing? All want praises. Oh! Achajyabha. Oh, very nice devotee. Yeah, very nice devotee. <laughs> Achajyabha, rascal. What do you say, rascal? You are great rascal. You <laughs> get so angry. <laughs> you cannot tolerate this thing. If someone will rebuke you, call you ill name. Huh? Someone will call you ill name. Can you rebuke? Tolerate it. No, we cannot tolerate. Someone praises, very good. He's my friend. <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> if someone calls ill name, you become so angry, isn't it? Then Asajavan leave his company and go and stay alone in his van. <laughs> yes, so, yes. Such intolerance. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot keep company with him. 
Yes, I must leave his company and let me leave his body. You see, hmm? this is question how you are really eager to serve the Supreme Personality. You can tolerate everything. Huh? No, <laughs> this uh, rebukes <laughs> evil names, so many sufferings, uh, miseries. Yes. But that's Thakur tolerated. Sanatana Goswami tolerated. Uh, he took leave. He said, I am sick. He said, Yes, I have to serve. Let us be Krishna. Let us be Mahaprabhu. I must go to Mahaprabhu and take shelter. Let us be. But this is a hindrance now on my part. This uh, elevated position, this ministership, serving a Mahamadan. Before a seven crippled a dozen of Sopolo Sukalabalagi. Why are you serving? This uh, Krupana Durjan, the misers and the rascals in material world? Huh? Why are you serving? Because of your own bodily comfort, enjoyment, material enjoyment. Yes. Yes. Getting high salary huh? is giving me so. I am serving him, he is a rascal, he is a miser, he grew upon a durjan. You are serving, isn't it? Many people are serving. Flattering, yes, you are very good, very nice. Your face is good, your buttock is good, your behavior is good, everything is good. Nobody is as good as you, you are a great hero, you are such a powerful person. Oh, yes. We follow Sevilu Krupan and Durjana. So, follow Sukhala. Well, fleeting pleasure. Material means of fleeting transitory uh, pleasure, enjoyment, serving these rascals, stupid persons. Uh, but only you are the servant of Krishna. Krishna is the only master, eternal master, and Jiva is eternal servant. You're not serving Krishna. Yes. And that material boss. Huh? Do you understand? Sometimes rebukes you, sometimes puts you in much difficult situation, isn't it? And you tell it, all right, all right, otherwise I will be dismissed from my service. Why not tell it for the service of Krishna? He is only master, only object of love. He said, we must only to be served. Yes. And Krishna will put you in test. Yes, really, how? Really you want to serve me with the love and affection? So, I will put you in such all, all unfavorable situations, all difficulties. I will take away everything from you. I give you all insults, all the bugs. How can you serve me? How you have developed really a task and trust me? You see it. That is there in Boy Maharas, isn't it? Mm, that test is there. So I was telling this Sanatana Goswami. So Sanatana Goswami gave up his ministership and he pretended, Oh, I am sick. I am sick. He pretended, just pretend so. So took leave. Took leave mm, and sat in his house. Um, and studied Bhagavatam and discussed Bhagavatam, the association of devotees, Vaishnavas. So Usensa sent his physician, go and examine what, what illness he has. So the royal physician came and saw no illness. He was studying Bhagavatam, discussing Bhagavatam, the association of the devotees, Vaishnavas. So he reported. No, no illness is, health is good, do you understand? He is uh, discussing Bhagavatam. Now he himself went, Usain Sai himself went there, so no illness, eh? What did you do? Tell a lie? Ah, why have you taken leaves? Medical leaves, sick leaves, you are not sick. Then what he said? Do you understand? Don't you want to serve? You two brothers put me in much trouble. Your brother left. Rupa Goswami had already left. 
your brother left and you pretended to lie no sickness what is your intention what do you want then he said you are king you are ruler i am your servant you can do whatever you like whatever punishment you want in you may inflict on me i will never serve i'll never go back so he knows he will face a severe test he will put into much trouble yes he knows it still he was not afraid but because he knows krishna mina raksha karta ke hone krishna je raksha gar palok amar krishna is my maintainer krishna is my protector nobody else is my protector nobody else is my maintainer he has taken complete complete sare shelter at the lotus feet of krishna and he has firm faith in it so he said you may inflict any punishment you want so pushen sa put him in the jail prisoners so now how to get out of this because my aim is to take shelter at the lotus feet of mahaprabhu jaitanya mahaprabhu and serve him so such stack is here now he is in the prison house how can he serve this so hard test na so rupa go swami wrote later already kept hundreds of this gold coins for him such gold coins are there bribe the jail keeper in somehow get out of the jail and come here and then say i am going to mathura you understand vrindavan so what is needed to serve the lotus feet of krishna we have to do it this is strong determination firm determination i have to do it in cost of my life let my life get out i must do it yes whatever it may be yes you understand i must do it that is test and it is all by the will of the lord all these things takes place krishna has supreme will mm. so this uh, mm sanatan go swami bribed the jail keeper mm gave him some gold coin he would not have earned such amount of money throughout his life time you know i said oh he but so will no he cut off my head he kill all my family members the sanatan go said don't be afraid allah god will protect you you understand i had helped you when i was in position i had helped you so much please help me now ah uh, i'll go to makkah you understand i'll become what is that ha huh? ha huh? fakir fakir al mulla ha huh? darvesh darvesh i'll become darvesh i'll go to makkah <laughs> Don't be afraid. Allah will protect you. So he gave him this allurement, this of so many gold coins. So he released him, and he said, "You will say this thing. Oh, he had diarrhea, stomach upset, passing stool. He went there to the bank of Ganges to pass stool with the shackles on his hand and legs." But he jumped into the Ganges and drowned. Finished, died. Yes. <laughs> What shall he do? What <laughs> shall never kill him? <laughs> he did it. So you know, he ex- escaped. Escaped. As a darvis, beards like this. Huh? Then he went through his jungle path hmm, to Kasi. Mahar. Mahaprabhu was in Kasi at that time. You understand? Is passing, 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 taking one servant with him, and some gold coins was there. Ah, uh, some gold coins were there with that servant. So in the evening, they took rest in an inn 
that is the inn was in a jungle yeah he was passing through jungle road do you understand that inn keeper had a astrologer who can understand this person has some money do you understand by astrology calculation he can say so he could say yes this this person has gold coin so he planned how to kill in at night these two persons and take away their gold coin such severe test you see uh, dangerous situation so he made nice cooked nice food made nice arrangement uh, for sleeping cushion all right you are tired you seem to be very tired take it this food and take rest this nice cushion is there sanatana sanat thought of why this person is taking so much care of us it is not good ah uh, he had something so he had pure intelligence who is constant let us to krishna te sansapta jukta anang badatam priti purvakam dadami buddhi jogam tam jena mang padanti te ha that ten chapter bhagavad gita krishna has said ha who is constantly attached to me and engaged in my dhat bhajan with love priti i give him pure intelligence so pure intelligence comes from krishna so sanatan ko swami so the devotee the devil love for krishna no the desire he had how to go and meet satan mahaprabhu take shelter as what was the said mother that one thing he had nothing else pure intelligence then he asked his servant hey Have you money? Said he. Oh yes, I have gold coins. Do you understand? Then immediately thought of oh, for this this innkeeper is taking care of us, and so at night he kills us. Do you understand? Hmm. You are you are requesting the innkeeper. Oh, this uh, dangerous path, hilly path, forest path. Very dangerous. Rogues, dacaits are there on the way. Ah, uh, will you please help us? Just to cross over this path during this night time. The innkeeper said, "Don't worry. You take rest. You seem to be tired. You take this food. Take rest. I'll make you cross over this. Just dead up the night. Don't worry. You don't understand." So when that servant said he had. gold coins then this is dangerous this is dangerous we have to give it up otherwise danger is there you understand so he said all right give it to me he gave everything and kept only one with him so he gave that money to that gold coins that in keeper in keeper became amazed oh he expressed This night I do have killed you for this. I have a person who knows this thing, who tells me. So this night I do have killed you, but you give me this. So his heart completely changed. You understand? Completely changed. Then he returned. No, 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 no. You are. You look to be a very gentle man. Sadhu. Nobody could have done so. Take your no 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 no. I won't take. Unless you take, somebody else also kill us. It's better you take this. So he gave. <laughs> Then he said, "I would have killed this thing." Now the enemy is heart changed. You understand? This heart, which completely surrendered the lotus feet to Krishna. Krishna gives intelligence and gives intelligence how to pass this test. How to tolerate it? Yes, so dangerous situation. Hmm? Then during that night, he gave man that uh, those, those men helped him to cross over this dangerous situation, crossed the hilly regions. Understand? This is what so severe test, so suffering. Ah, you have to face. You have to face. You have to tolerate all these things. That for the Lord, He was saying, "This will test you whether you have any other desire." 
any material desire for material enjoyment or desire for liberation or only one desire bhavatad bhakti rahit ki thi only to get the lotus feet of krishna and sir no other desire i don't desire anything for my soul my enjoyment my happiness nothing in spite of all suffering all persecutions i have to serve the lotus feet of krishna give me pleasure this will be tested you understand those who are pure devotees are not duplicity they have the free from duplicity always engaged in this bhajan niskapana kaitava bhajan bhajan without duplicity you understand they are symptom this is the symptom lakshana of such devotees na paramesthya na mahendra dhishnam na sarvabhom na rasadhipatyam na yoga siddhi na punarbhavam va madhyar pita prechati mad bina anyat ilavant kaito bhagavatam krishna says to dhava this is the symptom of pure devotion he doesn't want anything you understand hmm na paramesthya na mahendra dhishnu na sarvabhom na rasadhipatyam na yoga siddhi punarbhavam va madhyar pita prechati mad anyata hmm Oh, Dhava, those who are completely surrendered unto me, my dear devotees, pure devotees, ah, huh, they have no other desire, no desire for material enjoyment, no desire for liberation. They only want to serve my lotus feet and give me pleasure. This paramestam, they don't want the position of Brahma. They don't want the position of Indra. They don't want to be emperor of this world. they don't want to occupy the neither heavenly planet where body went do you understand that opulence also they don't want this what you say yoga siddhi mystic ha huh? perfection they don't want mystic perfection also they don't want liberation they don't want anything only they want to sar my lotus feet and give me pleasure you understand and that will be tested what do you want really asar jawan you want to saw the lotus feet of krishna mahaprabhu or you want some material enjoyment good wife good beautiful woman to enjoy thinking my wife my son ha huh? ha huh? you have come to this path and to have a nice wife yes very nice Wife, sir, I will able here. Yes, you can have it. Have one, get one. Yeah, yeah. Why no? Why no? <laughs> Say yeah. <laughs> Krishna knows the heart, Baba. Krishna knows the heart. What is there in your heart? You cannot cheat Krishna, Sir Jovan. He is there in the heart. Yes, Krishna will put you in severe test. In severe test. Yes, severe test, and you have to pass. Unless you pass the test, how can you get Krishna? As a Jawan, you should understand this thing. Ah, uh, in Mukunda Malastu Tra, it is said, Na hum bande ita vasarana yurdandu madandu hi to kum hi pa kum guru ma pihari na ra kum na pani tum ramya rama mrudu tanulata nandani na viram tum. भावे भावे हृदय भवनी भाव यम भवंत मुकुंद माला स्त्रोत्र ओ लॉर्ड हरी आई डोंट वॉन्ट दिस मेटेरियल एंजॉयमेंट आई डोंट प्रे टू यू फॉर डेलीफरस फ्रॉम नारका फ्रॉम दल अंडरस्टैंड मी हा For this purpose, I am not offering prayers at your lotus feet. I don't want that angelic human available in the heaven. Ah, do you understand me? To be embraced by their soft arms? No, I don't want that thing. Only for that purpose, I am not offering prayer at your lotus feet, O Lord Hari. I want to live, to live, Baba Tad, Bhakti, Rahe, Tui, Tui, 
only to serve your lotus feet and give you pleasure. In spite of all suffering, all difficulties, all what to say, rebukes, all insults, all miseries, whatever may come, I have to tolerate and serve your lotus feet. Do you understand? Nandhana nandhana. न सुंदरी कवि तंभा जगदीश काम मम जन्मनी जन्मनी सुरे भवता भक्ति रही थी महापुरुष प्रेयर यू नो इट डू अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द ओनली प्रेयर दिस द ओनली डिजायर नास्ता धर्मे न बसु निचय न इव काम उपभोगे जद भाव्यम तद होतु भवान पूर्व कर्मानुरूपम एक प्रथम मम बहुमत जन्म जन्मांतरे पी तथ पादम्ब रू जुगता निश्चला भक्ति रस्तु ये मुकुंद मारा स्तोत्र हाँ ओ लॉर्ड आई डोंट वांट मटेरियल ऑपुलेंसेस यू अंडरस्टैंड बसु मींस व्हाट यू से व्हाट इज इंग्लिश इन भैलेबल जेम्स लाइक इन भैलेबल जेम्स हाँ यू अंडरस्टैंड रोतनो बसु आई डोंट वांट इट हाँ आई आई हैव नो लिस्ट ऑफ डिजायर In my subtle corner of my heart, no desire for material enjoyment. I don't ask you for destroying my karmic reaction. Also, I am not asking you that. Do you understand? I never offer prayer for this. Please destroy my karmic reaction. No. What I have, what is reaction may come to me. What I have done, my previous prarabdha karma, let it come to me. Yes, I don't want. I don't request you and offer prayer to you. Please destroy my karmic grace. No. Whatever suffering, whatever happiness or suffering, according to my prayer of the karma, I deserve to get. Let me have it. Let me have it. Do you understand? But only one prayer I have. What is that? Tus baadam boru ojuga puta nischala bhakti rastu. Ah, only. Let me have this nishala bhakti, unalloyed devotion at your lotus feet. This is only prayer. No other prayer I have. Dharma artha kam mukhya sune cha mama kadaasana. Tatha pada pankada syadho jibitam diya tang mama. Mukhya salokya sarupyan prathaye na dharadhara. Ishami hi mahavago karunyam tava subrata ha narga pancharatra. Do you understand? Not the Panchanatha. Oh Lord, I don't want dharma, artha, kaam, mukhya. Follow me? I don't want this thing. No need of it all. Even else, I don't want this four types of mukti. Sarupyo, salukyo, sarsti, samipyo. Understand? Understand? Four types of mukti also I don't want. Only please give me a place at your lotus feet. This is my only desire. Only think of me as a speck of dust at your lotus feet. Just give such a tiny place at lotus feet as a speck of dust. No other desire I have. Understand? This is what. What is inside? That Lord will taste you. Taste you. Yes. भवंदे तस्म श्रोयामी न मुक्त भवान् प्रभुर दास विलुप्य थे दिस इज दर्स दिज आर वर्ड्स ऑफ हनुमान जी हनुमान आइडियल सर्वे दास भक्ति हाँ हनुमान से लॉर्ड यू आर द डिवर ऑफ मेटेरियल बॉन्डेज यस यू कैन डेलीवर एनी बॉडी फ्रॉम मेटेरियल बॉन्डेज बट आई डोंट आस्क फॉर इट I don't pray for it, huh? You are my eternal master. I am your eternal servant. I have to keep up this eternal relationship of servant and master. Perfect eternal loving relationship, servant and master relationship. I have no other desire than this to become your servant, life after life. Serve your lotus feet with love and give you pleasure and enjoyment.
I don't ask anything for me. You understand? In Padyabali, Sandhya Vandana Bhadrangastu Bhavata Bho Snana Tubhyam Namaha Bho Deva Pitarascha Tarpan Vidho Nahum Khyama Khyam Yatam Jatra Kwapi Nisadya Jadav Kulottamu Kulottamasya Kansadvi Sa Smarum Smarum Aha Harami Tadalam Manni Ki Manni Nemi This is from Padyabali, Rupa Goswami has quoted this devotee who is, was developed on all the devotion at the lotus feet of Krishna, he says, he has given up all this, what you say, daily activities, huh? krutyas. Understand me? What is that? He says, chanting of Gayatri Mantra in three sandhyas, huh? morning, noon and Evening, huh? daily activity. He has given up that thing and said, Oh, Gayatri Japo, ah, I pay my obeisances to you, let all glory be to you. Do you follow my language? Huh? He has, he never goes to any holy places and takes bath there. Do you understand? He says, Oh, all holy places. I pay my obeisances to you. Let me all glory to you. I don't want to go there. He also says, Oh, demigods, oh my poor fathers, I have no time to chant your names and offer any worship to you. Huh? I am quite unable. Please excuse me. Please excuse me. Do you understand? Wherever I may be, I may be in hell, I may be in heaven, I may be in a deserted place, I may be in a forest, I may be in a very dangerous place, I may be in the heaven, very comfortable place, wherever I may be, only I want to constantly think of the lotus feet of that Krishna, Ah, who is the enemy, who is the killer of Kansa, again and again and again, nothing else I want. I want this, is, I think, I consider this is enough, enough for me, nothing else. You understand? What is the necessity of all these things? You understand? What is inside? Hmm. Snanam manam abhut kriyacha na kriyasandhyacha bandhya bhavat Vedo kheda mavapa sastra patali samputita anta skuta Dharmo mama hato ya dharma ni chayam praya kheyam praptovan Chittam chumbati jada vendra charanam bhuji mama har nisam Another verse from Padyavali I have only one desire to take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna, uh, who is the crest jewel of Jadu dynasty. Do you follow? Mm. I don't want to do anything else, therefore, I give up my, what to say, three time bath. Uh, Give up my three time bath. I give up performing all Vedic sacrifices. Uh, offering prayer in the morning, noon, and evening. Studying Vedas. Do you understand? All my Vedic literatures are now put up in my box, locked under key, lock and key. Do you understand? Everything is there. <laughs> I don't want all these things only. I want constantly as a bumblebee hover around the lotus feet of Krishna only. Amin, Amin, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Ibhai. Ah, put all my basic literatures in the box on the lock and key, they may be very aggrieved. They may be feeling very pain. 
still I have to tolerate it. This question of tolerance. Yes. Purport is that one who develops this unalloyed devotion, one pointed, this is one pointed, not multi pointed. Do you understand? This is not multi pointed, this is one pointed devotion. I can't think bhakti. Do you understand? It's one point, not multi pointed. Understand my language? Hanuman is example. Do you understand? Hanuman is example. Yes, he is another devotion at the lotus feet of Lord Ram. Yes. Not at the lotus feet of Krishna. Lord Ram. Yes. Dear devotee, Das, servant of Lord Ram. He says, he says, he is a sadhu. He is a great sadhu. Sadhu no sastra. Yes. Sadhu no sastra. Sastra, all sastric, I have said, Vedic knowledge comes from Krishna, from the Supreme Lord. Mata smriti jnana apahanam chapra, me comes remembrance, forgetfulness, forgetfulness and knowledge. So one who develops an devotion under the lotus feet of the Supreme Lord, automatic, it is automatic, all this Vedic knowledge revealed. Yes, automatic revelation. Yes. And Anuanji is great learned. Sad, he knows us. He says, what he says? Hmm? What is his statement? Huh? Yes, what he says? Srinathe Janaki Nathe Obedo Paramatmani Mama Jivana Sarvasa Rama Rajiva Lutsana. Do you understand? He says this thing. This is another devotion, one pointed. Srinathe Janaki Nathe Obedo. There is no difference between Srinath and Janakinath. Understand my language? Huh? Srinath is Krishna, Janakinath is Ram. Husband of Janaki, Sita. Do you understand? There is no difference between Srinath and Janakinath. I know. He knows. He sadhu. He sadhu. He knows. Of Hedo. There is no difference. But my heart and soul. Huh? is Ram Rajiva Lochana, the lotus eyed Lord Ram, not Krishna. This is one pointed devotion, unalloyed devotion. Do you understand? That is Hanuman. Mm. So Hanuman says this thing. Mm. Mm. The Hanuman says this thing. Those who have developed such unalloyed devotion at the lotus feet of their Lord. Krishna, Ram, what is, what is his Lord? Huh? Mm. They don't do anything. They have given up all this daily activities, nitya naimikta di karma. They are constantly engaged huh? in this bhajan, nam bhajan. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, and this Akaitava Bhajana. Akaitava means Bhajana without duplicity. No duplicity is there. No other desire means no duplicity. Only one desire. Mugdham Mangnigadantu Niti Rupana Bhrantam Muhurvedika Mandam Mandava Sanchaya Jaradhiya Mukta Mukta Dara Sudara Unumatum danino viveko satura kam mahadam vikam Muktum nakyamati managapi mano govinda padas to hang. This is Padjavari. If I have been doing all these things, you'll see ah, those who are moralist, they may blame me. Yes. Let them blame me. I don't care for it. Ah, Mukdhamman Gantu Niti Nipuna. Ah, those who are learned scholars, Vedic Pandits, huh? they may also call ill name of me, saying a mad fellow. A mad fellow. I'll let them say, I don't care for it. You understand? Huh? You say, Mukdhamman Gantu Niti Nipuna, Branto Mur Vedika. Hey, he's a builder soul. He's a builder fellow. He's a builder. I let them say. I don't care for it. And those who are my relatives, friends, they may also blame me. 
They may be very bad person. He is a very bad, nasty person. Or oh, let them say, I don't care for it. Huh? Just all that, all these things. Huh? Mandam bandhav sanchaya. Jaradhiyo mukta adara sudara. Those who are my brothers. Do you understand? My brothers. Huh? They will desert me. Yes, they will kick me and desert me. Because no intelligence he has. Dull-witted person. They will speak like that and they may desert me. Let them go. Let them desert me. I don't care for it. Do you understand? Then says, Unmattam dhani no viveka tathura kaam mahadamikam. Those who are rich persons, wealthy persons, huh? they may tell me a mad fellow. He's a mad fellow. Yes. Let them say. Let them tell me mad fellow. I don't care for it. Huh? And those who are viveka tathura, Kamu Mahadam Bhikam. Those who are very intelligent persons, they may say, Oh, he is a stubborn, arrogant person. Great stubborn and arrogant, Dam Bhika. They may say so. Or let them say so. I don't care for it. Do you understand? Muktuna Khyamati Managapi Mano Govinda Padastrahan. In spite of all these things, all rebukes, all scoldings, do you understand? All insults, all ill names, all sufferings, all... In spite of all those things, I am there to tolerate it. Uh, please give me, O Lord, please give me power to tolerate all these things and let me not be deviated from the bhajan of your lotus feet. You understand? This is what. This is what. And has to tolerate all this. And this will come. This material world, material platform, nasty platform. Very dangerous platform and nasty platform. Ah, not at all a fit place for any gentleman to be. Yes. Any gentleman. Definitely. All these things will come here. And you, you should not expect all honor, all praise, all good name. You don't expect all these things. All evil, all, what to say, opposites will come to you. To test your uh, fixity of mind. Fixity, to test your real attachment to the lotus feet of Lord. To test your real devotion. Do you understand? Yes, how you are. This is test. And Lord mm, creates this thing. Lord puts forth such test before you. And you have to pass this test. And this is the case with Bari Maharaj. Yes. Such test. Severe test. Very severe test. Just put forth. And he passed. And he got the strength to tolerate it. Yes. And Prabhupada Maharaj said, the Lord is so kind to his devotee that when he is severely testing him, the Lord gives him the necessary strength to be tolerant and continue to remain a glorious devotee. Yes. Taro riva sahisnu na amani na mana dena kirta nesada. Trunada pisu nichina taro riva sahisnu amani na mana dena kirta nesada. Is Mahaprabhu's teaching. Do you understand? Think yourself as mm, worse than a, what do you say, blade of grass lying in the street. Much simpler than that. And become as tolerant as tree. Don't demand respect. Pay respect to one and all. Think that all are, all are Vaishnavas but me. I am not Vaishnava. All are Vaishnavas. Yes. Are you a Vaishnava? Huh? No. <laughs> All are Vaishnavas. But me. I am not the I am the lowest of the low. This is from Adri Therefore, otherwise, how can you pay respect to one and all? If you think, oh, I am a Vaishnava. Ami se Vaishnava ye buddhi hoile. Omani nahava ami. 
प्रतिष्ठा साहसी हृदय शिव हईब निरय गामी भक्ति विनोद ठाकुर से इफ देश से विकेट हाँ विकेट थट इट्स विकेट थट विकेट थट विल एंटर इन टू ओ आई एम वैष्णव दिस विकेट थट विल एंटर इन टू मी आई कैन नट बिकम अ मानी आई कैन नट पे रेस्पेक्ट वन वन एंड ऑल वेदर आई डिमांड रेस्पेक्ट आई डोंट नो हु आई आई एम वैष्णव पे 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 धन्यवाद करो धन्यवाद करो हाँ पे रेस्पेक्ट पे धन्यवाद धन्यवाद डोंट यू नो हु आई आई एम कैन गेट वैष्णव दिस विकेट थट हमी से वैश्रम ये बुद्धि अमानी नब हम प्रतिष्ठा था आज हृदय निर हमी इफ दिस विकेट थट विल एंटर इन टू मी इंदर आई एम वैष्णव आई कैन नट बिकम अ मानी आई कैन नट पे रेस्पेक्ट टू वन एंड ऑल दर आई डिमांड रेस्पेक्ट सो माय हार्ट विल बी पल्यूटेड माय कॉन्सियसनेस विल पल्यूटेड आई गो टू हेल्प डू भलो दिस इज देन यू हैव टू टॉल रेट ऑफ दिस थिंग्स ऑल सफरिंग्स ऑल रिव्यूज ऑल मिजरीज ऑल इंसल्ट्स ऑल ब्लास्फेमीज ऑल बैड नेम्स सर टॉलेट 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 डू यू अंडरस्टैंड एंड कृष्ण गिव यू पावर ऑफ टॉलरेंस रियली चैंटिंग इज होली नेम हां विदाउट डुप्लिसिटी आई विल गेट कृष्ण गिव यू सच पावर ऑफ टॉलरेंस ओह फ्लावर टॉलरेंस देन एट लास्ट Krishna will give you such position. Even you may get, you may not get this very life. Then after that also, you may live your life. Yes. After that, all glorification will come. Yes. All glorification will come. Krishna will give you all these things, and this test is the severe test. And you must pass this test. You don't be disturbed at all. Don't be disturbed at all. Have tolerance, power of tolerance. Ah, the patience. That is, Rupa Goswami says, hmm? "Usaha nisaya dharjyat." Usaha nisaya dharjyat. This, ah, don't give up your enthusiasm. You are devilish. You are, you are so enthusiastic, but now it's all gone. Oh, I am depressed. I am disappointed. Oh. Everything failed. Everything failed. Everything failed. No enthusiasm. So don't give up this thing. Keep it up. Ushahan nisya and your beef. Huh? Take up your this firm determination. I must in this very life. I must get the lotus feet as Dhruva. Yes, I must meet Lord Narayana. Five year old boy. So determination. Yes. The name is Dhruva. Because it's strong determination, yes. His, his mother said, "No, no, you are a boy. You are a boy. You cannot go to forest. Very hardship, so much hardship, suffering. Hundred, hundred of years, great sages undergo very severe, severe sadhana, severe austerity. Cannot they fail? Cannot they? Oh, not easy thing. You are a boy. You can." Whatever it may be, I must go. I must go. I must get that Narayana. So determined, this determined, determination. Uh, otherwise, how can I get Krishna? And Saha Nishcha Thor Jata Nishna patience. Don't be impatient, Ajay Jawa. Have patience. Have patience. Tolerate. Tolerate. Patience. You understand? Don't give up your enthusiasm. Don't give up your. Ah. Uh, This devotion, huh? stick to it. Stick to it in spite of all suffering, all rebukes, all blasphemies, all insults, all unfavorable situations. Don't be defeated from it. Stick to it. No patience. This is test. Krishna is putting for test before you. And you have to pass it, and you have to tolerate it. Mm, so this is our instruction. Now, Sadhu Guru, Sadhu, hmm, hmm. My Guru Maharaj gave the same instruction. Co tolerate, cooperate, tolerate, cooperate. That's last thing he said. Tolerate, cooperate. 
Yes, you have to tolerate. All this ah, obstructions will come, impediments will come, sufferings will come, pain will come, unexpected things will come. Yes. Yes. Insult will come. Do you understand? No praise. All will blame you. All blame will come. Tolerate, tolerate, tolerate. And cooperate, cooperate. Yeah, then you get, you pass the test. Then you get the mercy of the Lord, Mahaprabhu's mercy, Nityananda Prabhu's mercy, Krishna's mercy. Then all glory will come. It may not come in this very lifetime. Afterwards, it will come. It must come. Yes. Don't expect that it will come. And don't expect such things. Don't have such expectation. Whatever it may be, I will not give up my attachment to the Lord of Spirit of Krishna. I will not give up my service. I will never leave. I must. Yes. This is determination. This is a fixity of mind. Eh? This is Amala devotion. And this is your real love and affection and attachment for Krishna. Ah, what you have? Really you have or not? It will all come. Otherwise, how can you get this? And Bali Maharaj passed all this test. And he got. Though he has pushed down, he was arrested, his, de his enemies defeated him, spoke out bad names, so much suffering, so much insults, all these things. But he tolerated. So he became one of the twelve Mahajanas. He is glorified person. Such glory is now. Now we are glorified. Thank you. Free.